Guys, Ozzy Griffin here. So my country is pretty much up the creek at the moment. We're facing having to go for another round of elections for the federal seats in the Senate and uh, the House of Commons, uh, the upper and lower house, because quite frankly, the budget keeps getting rejected. Why does it keep getting rejected? Because it's stupid. Thank you. So uh, basically, uh, we've got four major political parties in this country at the moment that are worth any note. Uh, and I'm going to run them down real quick here. The incumbent government is the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party holds the majority of the seats um, and is so pro-business that it gives you a nosebleed. Uh, they've proposed this ridiculous budget. Links in the description or you won't believe me. Um, and it's basically failing fast. So they're seen as arrogant. You've got the Labour Party, their usual opposition, um, who are basically a bunch of union guys, and the backstabbing that's been going on with them is atrocious. So nobody trusts them. Then you've got uh, the two minor parties that nip at their heels, the Greens, uh, who have no ideas on how to run this country, um, and the Palmer United Party, which is pretty much the vanity project uh, of a wealthy mining magnate called Clive Palmer. Now, I'm not saying that I know how to run this country better than they do. However, I could pretty much avoid a whole bunch of problems that they've made for themselves. Granted, I'd make newer and more interesting problems. However, I think that we're owed that. So, in a word, I don't think that this is going to end well. I'm looking at Australia's political future right now, and I see a double dissolution election. All the parties are doing charm offensive right now uh, to try and remind people that, hey, if this budget somehow gets rejected again, you'll remember to vote for us next time it's time, won't you? See, that little wink at the end, that's what they sell it on. You know, in Queensland, the way they get people to vote for them is they hold up billboards, or not even billboards, just big signs up by the side of the road and they have people just smiling and waving at you with a big picture of the candidate and their name underneath. It's Queensland. It's not like the rest of Australia. Something about you get the tropics, you just don't think straight. Anyway, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say that I am not impressed with the state of being in this country. What I'm really worried about, though, uh, is the fact that... I don't know. One of two things is going to come out of this. One, we're going to have a jingoistic shift in the federal seats. Uh, it's people like Clive Palmer. Uh, people who we don't know the worst side of yet. Or, they're going to actually pass the budget with a couple of the nastier corners shaved off uh, just to ple appease the masses and once the uh, once they got that passed they're probably going to work them back in somewhere in the margins all I know is this is going to end badly so watch this space as far as uh, as far as the Australian um, budget goes I don't like where it's going though Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. If anyone thinks thinks I'm wrong, please let me know. As uh, Richard O'Brien would always say, silence is a cancer.